Here are 20 Unreal Engine 5 tips that make you go from beginner to a pro. Tip number one, you can actually change the input keys right inside the details panel. No need to scroll countlessly looking for the right keys. Tip number two, use reroute nodes to keep your wires straight and clean. It makes your graphs way easier to read and debug. To access it, either double click a line or search for it. Tip number three, the sequence node is super useful when you want one event to trigger several actions without stacking everything into a single chain. Tip number four, that instead of repeating the same logic everywhere, make a universal function that way, you change it once and it updates across all your blueprints. Here we are just setting up a simple casting function to our player. Get a return node and then connect your player to it. Alright, now if you open up any blueprint, you can call that function that you just created. Tip number 5. Use the isValid node. It prevents crashes by checking if references exist before using them. Here, I set up a simple damage volume that will damage our player when we enter the collision. But before we apply damage, we want to check if our character is valid first. Tip number 6. Here's a quick optimization tip. Disabling tick in the details panel is a great optimization tip. Tick runs every single frame, so if you don't need it, turning it off saves performance and keeps your blueprint lighter. And of course, if you need it, you can enable it inside of your blueprint graph. Tip number 7. Instead of rewriting the same code, you can create a component once and drop it wherever you need. They can handle stats, mechanics, and other systems like health, stamina, or custom abilities making your project modular, efficient, and easy to scale. In this clip, we are just making a simple sprinting system that we will apply to our character. Alright, now that you created your functions, let's add the component to our player. Now get your input, and get your components, then get your functions. Tip number 8. Print strings can be used to debug in Unreal Engine. You can print messages, variable values, even actor names in real time. Perfect for checking if your code is actually running. Tip number 9. Use string tables to store text. This will come in handy when making UI, dialogues, item names, etc. To use string tables, type in the name inside of the key, then type in your message inside of the source string. In my case, I am going to name it Dad because he will be the NPC. Then open up your dialogue add a text then create a binding of that text now get a make literal text node and then you can switch the text within that string table Tip number 10, you can actually organize your variables and functions by putting them into categories. This is a basic tip, but also a very common tip used by many people. So I just opened a Discord for our community. It's a welcoming spot to connect, share your journey, ask questions, and just enjoy the game dev grind together. Link is in the description. Tip number 11, but instead of repeating the same logic for the same systems, use macros. I made this system where you can peek under a door and through the hole. They both require the same logic, so instead of copying and pasting their logic, I made a macro so that I don't need to repeat the same logic. Macros let you reuse logic across your blueprints. You can call them anywhere and customize their inputs to work with different data. Let me know in the comments if you want a full tutorial explaining macros or any other tip explained inside of this video. Tip number 12. This is another optimization tip to boost performance and FPS. Stats FPS will show your current FPS and max FPS will allow you to cap your FPS at a specified limit. Now open up your project set if you're not working on a AAA game, I recommend disabling these settings. Change global illumination to none and reflection to none or screen space. Now search for nanite, then disable it, and then it's gonna ask to restart your project. Now type in the staff's FPS command and enjoy your boost of performance. Tip number 13. If you press the N key, it will snap your object to the surface. Tip number 14. You can group objects together by pressing Ctrl and G together. And if you want to ungroup them, press Ctrl shift and g together tip number 15 if you hold ctrl and l while left clicking you can actually adjust the sunlight tip number 16 if you press shift and click you can duplicate all your wires and drag it to another pin tip number 17 if you press ctrl and click you can drag your wires to another pin tip number 18 instead of using event tick use the set timer by event event tick runs every single frame while set timer by event runs at a set time and it can be paused or cleared when you don't don't need the timer anymore. Tip number 19. If you highlight anything inside of your blueprint graph, you can actually press Q to straighten 
nodes or pins. Tip number 20. If you make your variables public, you can edit the values outside of your blueprint and the variables you made public will show up inside of the details panel. Right now, I'm just setting my level. You can also use this when building modular environments. The way to set this up is quite simple. Alright, so you want to create your list of items inside of this enumerator. Now you want to create your blueprint. Now just add any shape and then open your construction script and then you want to add your enumerator to the blueprint. Construction script runs before the game starts which will allow us to switch our shapes. Now you want to set static mesh of the cube and then for the new mesh just select your shapes. And now make the enumerator public. Now as you can see I can switch between the different shapes. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment with your thoughts or questions. I'll catch you in the next one.